Hey guys, <clears throat> Doug Darbro, your uh, stats professor, uh, Math 5500, hanging out in my office this morning and uh, uh, first day of class, May 13th, so I thought I'd put up a brief video, brief for me usually, you know, PhD, probably higher and deeper, right? So uh, my, uh, my hope is to put up a, uh, just a short video introducing you to the class, introducing you in a sense to me, and um, uh, just, just pointing out some important features of the Blackboard site. So guys, uh, go to Blackboard, um, um, <laughs> click the course. Um, I think for the most part, you can look at information, content, and discussions. That's where most of the important stuff is going to be. So let's talk, uh, uh, start at the top and go to information. Um, you know, I, actually, I don't think you will see exactly what I'm seeing. So let me go to uh, student view. So <clears throat> if you go to information, you can see that there's a syllabus. And if you click it, it's going to open up in a new tab. And, uh, you know, uh, w without question, there's some interesting stuff there. Uh, you have a course description. Um, there's not a textbook uh, for the class. There's some recommended readings and recommended other texts that I use. But, uh, you know, it, things are just so different today regarding textbooks. Back in the old days when, when I was in grad school, I uh, got my Ph.D. in 2002, 17 years ago, uh, we had a lot of text, textbooks. But today, uh, if you, for example, want something on quadratic regression and uh, least squares approach you can get on Google or YouTube and um, just do a search and and get you know maybe 500,000 hits so uh, it, it's just not as critical today uh, that we have a physical textbook like uh, we used to uh, you know I'm not gonna read this stuff to you you guys are big boys and big girls so you can do that but uh, uh, you know uh, take take a Five minutes of your time and and go through this um, course objectives uh, you know how that works you guys being or at least most of you being teachers we have to uh, uh, officially state what we're going to teach and what you're going to learn and how the objectives are going to be met now <clears throat> the main reason I'm showing you this is to show you that uh, when I when I build a course like this and it goes through the enhancement process essentially what they're wanting me to do is create the shell for the course where they can ultimately, if I'm being honest, where they can ultimately hire someone a lot cheaper than me to teach the class. Well, notice that these lessons and due dates are provided uh, very generally. So of week one, lesson one on that Friday. But uh, you'll find out in just a second that I provide uh, additional details and more specific details to uh, due dates in, in another location. So guys, uh, you know, grading policy, how, how's your final grade um, uh, calculated, number of points and letter grade assignments, you know, that's all uh, cool stuff. And I hope you'll take the time to look at this. All right, enough of that. Uh, let's go to um, instructor information. That tells you a little bit about me uh, communicating with the instructor. <clears throat> Guys, I, I take a lot of pride in answering emails very quickly and uh, 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 efficiently and effectively. Um, but I think I would like to kind of move in the direction of, um, uh, I, I'm sorry, I just noticed that I have Casey Anthony updates. I have no earthly idea why that is there because I don't even subscribe to that. So I got on a uh, on a tangent. I guess I'm just showing you just how goofy I am. Uh, I, I don't know. Maybe one of the people that I'm Facebook friends um, <laughs> followed that link, and I and I got interested in it. I, I really I have no idea, but I thought that was kind of goofy to look up there and see that. So um, yeah, your your stats professor is a little goofy. Um, so anyway, uh, but but something I want to I want I want to try a little bit more this. Uh, term for Math 5500 in, in Summer 1, 2019, is uh, to use the discussion boards more to, to post questions and ask questions because what, what essentially happens with a large class like this, I think I have a right at 20 students in here, for, and for a graduate level course, that's a lot. I mean, we're usually between 8 to 10 students, so 
uh, maybe 12 tops. So it's going to be a lot of grading. And, uh, you know, to keep from uh, uh, sending multiple emails, maybe multiple questions, if we use discussion board, uh, I'm going to make it a point uh, to, to, to check that more often and stay in touch with you via discussion board posts. So, um, <clears throat> you know, late work policy, guys, um, if, uh, you know, I'm not, a, I'm not a big fan of giving advice, um, even friends and my son to come to me for advice, I just don't give it, but I'm going to break my pattern and give you a little bit of advice here. With this class being compressed into seven weeks, and to give you an indication, this class is built to be taught over 16 weeks, and then we kind of compressed it down to 15 weeks, which wasn't a stretch, and then the next phase was to kind of collapse it down to 10 or 11 weeks, which was a challenge, uh, but not near as much as collapsing it down to seven weeks. Guys, do not fall behind. That's my uh, huge piece of uh, advice today. Uh, do what you can to, to meet the, um, the deadlines and the due dates. So anyway, uh, enough of that. Let's go into content. This is the, uh, uh, the link that you'll uh, visit probably the most, uh, a beautiful picture of Shawnee State University at night. Um, and uh, then you have your seven lessons. Now, <clears throat> the first thing I want to point out is the timeline. This is exactly the timeline that you'll see in the, uh, uh, the syllabus, except uh, you have uh, due dates, uh, or at least dates that are specific to this class, not presented in general. Now, you'll notice that every week you have either uh, uh, a discussion forum post. Actually, the first week you have two discussion forum posts. You have your introduction, which some of you have already done and you have your Lesson 1 discussion forum post. So what happens there is you won't see anyone else's discussion forum post until you post. Now, I'm going to set up a, um, uh, uh, a discussion forum just for conversations about questions and videos and, and, and uh, assignment questions, you know, you know just, just to get help. Now, those you can see without posting. But uh, anything that's uh, due for a grade, you can't see what's been posted uh, until you post. Now, I, I, th I take that back. I think the introduction, I, I left it open, but uh, the others have been changed or they will be changed. Guys, this, um, uh, th this, this timeline is, is not built for procrastinators. Uh, the one thing, the transition that I I was a really, really good undergrad student, uh, you know, 3.92 GPA, graduated honors and all that stuff, just like most of you probably. But the big, uh, the, the, the main hurdle I had in going from undergrad to grad school was uh, time management. I tried to uh, approach grad school the same way I did very successfully in undergrad, and uh, it, it failed for me. The first uh, first year of grad school was uh, was not a pleasant experience for me because I was trying to use the undergrad uh, approach. So uh, compound that with this being a seven week term, which is going to flash by uh, in seemingly no time. Um, you know, it's really important that uh, that you get on your assignments um, uh, pretty pretty soon, pretty quickly. For example, just uh, speaking less theoretically and more uh, uh, specifically, if you see week two, which begins May 20th, that you have an assignment that is due that Sunday, May 26th at 1155 p.m. Uh, what that really means is this needs to be submitted by Monday at 8 a.m. because I uh, typically will, uh, uh, the, the day that it's due the next morning is when I'll start to grade the assignments. So um, I really need that submitted by 8 a.m. I haven't yet decided whether I'm going to take off points for sub, uh, assignments that are submitted late, uh, but let, let, let's just do our best to, to get these um, uh, submitted on time so we can we can stay uh, true to the timeline because it's really important because um, you know the, these the, these weeks are going to go by uh, very 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 quickly. Um, so um, notice that every week there's not an assignment. There is a uh, discussion forum post. Uh, so right now, uh, even though assignment number one isn't due for uh, 13 days, this is something that you need to go ahead and start uh, uh, thinking about and start working on. 
If you wait until Sunday to start this, you're not going to get it turned in on time. Um, I, I don't know. My wife been very successful. She went to University of Kentucky, uh, got a degree in psychology, a master's in psychology, uh, EDS in school psychology. She made one B the whole time that, that, that she's there. She is the ultimate procrastinator, and I always wonder how this uh, format would have worked for her. Uh, she probably would have figured it out, but uh, but guys, do your best to stay uh, to the timeline. Uh, one other thing, uh, as I told you, I can't say anything quickly. I pile it on higher and deeper uh, for everything. But uh, notice the midterm exam and final exam. Those are proctored by ProctorU. ProctorU is an online test proctoring service. Uh, they um, you know, are, are moving to a fully online program hinged on us being able to, um, uh, to give exams online uh, and uh, assure the integrity of the testing process. And we found that ProctorU was, um, at least in my opinion, was, was, was uh, really good at meeting uh, those goals. So you may want to go ahead. I, I'll provide more information here in the next couple of days on setting up an account with ProctorU. Uh, but you're going to need a ProctorU account. And once I get the assignment, or I'm sorry, the, the exam set up, then you'll need to go in and select a three-hour time slot any time from uh, Friday, June 14th at noon to Sunday, June 16th at 11 p.m. to take your midterm exam. So if you're a night owl, you know, 2 a.m. on, you know, Friday or Saturday, whatever, uh, during those uh, the, the, that time uh, period, um, you can take your uh, exam. All right. So any questions about that, uh, email me or better yet, uh, post it to the discussion forum uh, so I can answer it and everyone can read it. Now, other than the timeline, if you go through uh, each lesson, uh, every lesson is is uh, laid out the same, which is kind of cool. Consistency, right? Uh, first thing you get are the in, uh, introduction and the objectives. I'll tell you what you're going to learn. Under lesson resources, you'll have the instructional videos. Uh, and if there are any data sets that uh, go along with the uh, instructional videos, those will be included there. And... Um, the next thing you have are supplemental resources. Let's say you think I don't do a really good job of teaching. Uh, maybe uh, correlation coefficient stuff. Uh, I've got some Khan Academy and some YouTube videos there that um, uh, I think are uh, pretty good as supplemental uh, resources. I think mine are better, I say that very hesitantly, but I think they're better because they link directly what I want you to know in terms of submitting discussion forum posts and taking exams and submitting assignments. So I try to keep the terminology uh, and the lingo uh, directly related. So so anyway, it's not that it's better per se. I think it's just better because you know I'm the one that makes out the assignments and exams. Finally, we get into lesson assignments. Uh, as you would expect, this is where um, you get your assignments and uh, the instructions for your discussion forum posts. So first thing, uh, introduce yourself. And um, uh, second thing, there's another lesson one discussion forum post. Now to give you an example, like lesson two, week two is where the assignment is. So when you go to lesson two, you'll see it, uh, it's on uh, MLEs. Again, learning resources are the instructional videos, and lesson assignments are where the lessons are posted. Now, this week you don't have um, a, um, a discussion forum post because you have an official assignment. So there's the data set that you'll use for this assignment. The assignment one's in PDF and Word uh, format, so download whatever uh, whatever is best for you. And what I prefer that you do there is I prefer that you write this stuff out. I don't need to see all of your R code, um, but uh, I, I prefer you write this out, you scan it, you send it to my email account, ddarbro at shiny.edu. Most of you know me because I'm director of the graduate program, and for you to be part of the program, you kind of had to uh, go through me or at least get acquainted with me briefly. Uh, so anyway, uh, send an email to my account, my email account, uh, as an attachment. That's the way I prefer that you submit assignments, not through Blackboard. Because what I'll do is I'll respond to that email and give you remarks. I'll tell you what your grade is, and I'll tell you 
uh, where I think you may have, uh, you know, good things you did, things where I think you may be able to improve. So I'll give you hopefully meaningful feedback. So guys, every, um, every lesson is laid out the same, you know. Lesson number six, we get into matrix methods for uh, multiple regression. Again, what's going on? I tell you what you're going to learn. I provide the instructional videos. I provide supplemental resources. Some of it's through Khan Academy, some of it uh, through YouTube. And then you get the lesson assignments. So for lesson number six, you will use matrix methods uh, using uh, for this multiple regression, uh, create a uh, multiple regression model. And it's due, um, and the, the due date and time can be found in the timeline. <clears throat> All right, guys, I really can't um, do much more, even if I tried uh, to make this any more challenging uh, discussion. Uh, I can tell right now, I can see that uh, 15 of you have already made posts. That is awesome. Actually, one person has already uh, um, uh, submitted the lesson number one dis discussion forum post. So, uh, good deal. Good deal. I don't know who it is, but I'll find out, um, I'll find out, uh, pretty soon. So, well guys, thanks for, um, uh, taking my class. Uh, I love teaching this class. It starts out very, very, very simple. Uh, the very first time I, uh, I taught this class, again, you'll look at the content, you'll see that the first week is an introduction to R and review of undergraduate, uh, inference, uh, techniques, especially for regression. And the first time I taught this class, I completely skipped uh, lesson number one and went into MLEs and uh, by that, that's back before our program was completely online and we had an online camp or I'm sorry an on-campus meeting and one of the students raised his hand and said Dr. Darber what's a p-value well I knew that I was building a house on sand and I didn't review um, uh, appropriately so that's why uh, I think lesson one is is, is very important I don't even remember really what I included in lesson one, other than an introduction to R and some, um, yeah, just 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 basic stuff. So first week, uh, a lot of videos, but um, uh, the content uh, is a little bit on the easier side. But it doesn't mean you should take the week off and not watch the videos because again, uh, what we do in week uh, two, three, four, five, six, and seven builds and hinges on this material. Well, guys, I am done. Uh, I think I've done all the damage I can in this video. So, again, uh, thanks for taking my class. Uh, I look forward to making this successful for you. And uh, don't, uh, don't hesitate to contact me if you have any questions. All right? So, take care.